international students should not opt for computer science related courses in Canada because okay, of then I would highly recommend you to take up any of these roles or, and I was able to successfully switch jobs and get competing offers from multiple companies. What's up YouTube, it's Savanj here. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new to this channel, then welcome. My name is Savanj and I came to Canada as an international student just like a lot of you guys and I've been working as a software engineer in Canada for the last seven years. Lately, a lot of you guys have reached out to me asking what is the scope of software engineering jobs in Canada. People are worried that it is extremely tough to find a software software job these days and I know that there are some influencers on Instagram and on YouTube who are saying that international students should not opt for computer science related courses in Canada because there are no jobs here. There is no scope of computer science or software engineering in Canada. So to address all these concerns today we'll be talking about the reality of software engineering jobs in Canada, how you can succeed as a software engineering professional and find a job in this tough job market. Doesn't matter if you are a complete fresher or if you have some experience already. But before we begin please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I post a lot of videos about living and working in Canada and if you like and share this video then YouTube will show this video to a lot more people and that will help my channel in a big big way so please make sure to do that and with that being said let's start this video. Alright so the most common question that I get these days is that are there no jobs for computer science graduates in Canada? Are the companies only looking for experienced professionals and are there no jobs for freshers and should we even study computer science if you're coming to Canada as an international student? Let's be be honest over the last two years things have been pretty bad for software engineers both in US and in Canada and it doesn't matter if you have experience working for a big tech company or if you're a complete fresher everybody is experiencing the pain of layoffs uncertainty in the job market and there's been a lot of negativity around this profession because people have been jobless for months now. Now the problem is that most tech companies hired like crazy post COVID because most of these companies were going through a massive growth phase. But now that the growth has slowed down, a lot of these companies had to lay off a lot of its workforce in order to retain profits. But keep in mind that I'm not saying that the tech industry is not growing or that it's going through a dark phase. All I'm saying is that the growth has actually slowed down as compared to let's say a couple of years ago. So obviously if you're looking for jobs at this time you are competing with people who have a lot of experience working at these big tech companies and at the same time you're also going to be competing against freshers or new graduates who are just finishing up their college or university education. So in short there is a lot of supply but not enough demand to absorb all those people who are actually looking for software engineering or tech jobs today. And this has made it difficult to find jobs right now especially for freshers because most companies are looking to hire people who are already experienced or who who possess niche skills. But this doesn't mean that people who don't have any experience are not getting any opportunities at all. A lot of tech companies in Canada have an internship program where they're hiring for interns all throughout the year. Now this co-op or internship program in Canada allows students to get some real life professional work experience while they're still at school, which will come in very handy once they graduate and start looking for jobs because they would have already gained some real life experience plus gained some technical skills as well before they even step out into the real world. And there are already jobs available for experienced people even in today's tough market. And the reason why I say this is because I myself have gone through this job interview process recently and I was able to successfully switch jobs and get competing offers from multiple companies. So I would highly encourage you to not listen to people who are saying that there are no tech jobs in Canada or in North America because the reality is that if you possess the right skills then there are jobs available especially for experienced people. So the bottom line here is that whether you are an intern, an experienced professional, professional or even a fresher with some experience there are jobs available in Canada for you. The number of jobs might be less as compared to two years ago but there are still jobs available. For example when I was interviewing six months ago there were a lot less number of jobs on LinkedIn and Indeed and all these job portals but recently over the last few months I've seen that the number of job postings have increased significantly which is obviously a good news and I'm hopeful that over the next one year things should improve drastically. And for those people who are wondering whether you should choose computer science or software engineering as a professional, whether you should come to Canada and take up these courses or not. To all you guys asking all these questions, I would say that software engineering is one of the best, if not the best profession for most people out there. And I might be biased because I belong to this profession, but I know for a fact that this is a skill that is required in pretty much all the industries out there. And as we progress, as the technology advances, the technology adoption will only increase and there'll be more jobs in the future than there are today. So if you're thinking about studying 
taking computer science or software engineering related courses in Canada, then you should definitely opt for it because once you start working and once you get into the tech industry, you have unlimited potential to grow both in terms of your technical skills, your experience and your financial compensation. And as far as jobs are concerned, you just need to keep trying and figure out what you can do differently in order to increase your chances of getting a job. And since I've recently gone through the job search process myself, here are some tips and advice on what you can do in order to land a job in this tough job market. My first advice for you in today's time would be don't obtain generic skills. Software engineering is a vast domain and there are so many types of jobs, a lot of skill sets that people possess, but there are certain tech stacks that are very common among software engineering professionals. For example, if you're into web development, then, then instead of working with some common tools and frameworks such as HTML, JavaScript, CSS, or the MERN stack, you should aim for something that is more specific because a lot of people already possess these skills and that's why it'll make it even more difficult for you to land a job right now due to increased competition. Instead, you can take up mobile app development and learn skills like Swift for iOS development or Java or Kotlin for Android and even Flutter and Dart. Similarly, you can get into data engineering and take up skills such as big data, data warehouses, and ETLs. And if you're like me, then you can get into DevOps engineering and learn skills such as infrastructure as code, Python, CSCD, Kubernetes, etc. The point is that you should try to pick a niche that not too many other people are picking because this will not only increase your chances of getting a job, but it will also lead to a higher total compensation because not too many people will possess this skill and you will become a specialist instead of a generalist. Advice number two is that you should build some solid projects that you can showcase on your resume and also in your interviews. Now, this is especially true for freshers or if you've been on a career break due to layoffs or other issues. This is because there are very few companies who will hire you as a complete fresher who has never worked in a professional setting or who has no experience with any technologies whatsoever. Because it will cost them a lot of money and time to first hire you and then train you for months before you can actually start contributing in a meaningful way towards the company. And this is where having some good projects under your belt will help, whether it's working on some small features or bugs on an open source project on GitHub or even if it's building your own personal apps. Doing this will not only increase your chances of getting an interview call, but it will also give you some content to talk about in these interviews and as you talk through the projects that you've worked on and the technologies that you've worked with the interviewers will get some confidence that you know your stuff and that you can be hired without needing too much training and the same is true for taking up some certifications or online courses related to the jobs that you're applying for and this is especially useful if you're trying to switch careers or move into a more specialized role for example certifications on devops machine learning and cloud engineering are really popular having a relevant certification will definitely increase your chances of getting a job because if there are two candidates who have exactly the same amount of experience and possess the same skill set, a person who has a relevant certification will definitely get an edge as compared to the other candidate. Advice number four that I have for you is that you need to start somewhere and get your foot in the door. If you're just starting out there, it is possible that you might not get your ideal role or become a data scientist or a software engineer right at the beginning of your career. It is possible that you might get an opportunity as a data analyst or a support engineer or even as a product manager. If you are at the beginning of your career, then I would highly recommend you to take up any of these roles or any such other roles that will actually put you closer to the tech industry or the role that you actually want to work in because these roles can just be a stepping stone into your next role and as you gain more experience and you learn new skills it'll be easier for you to transition into your dream role later on for example i wasn't always a devops engineer i've switched roles multiple times over the years and i've gained experience across multiple domains of software engineering so the point is that where you start does not matter it's important to take that first step and start wherever you get an opportunity and then slowly transition into a role that you absolutely love. I hope you guys found this video to be useful. If you did, then please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions then let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at shivansingla119 because I post a lot of useful content over there as well. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.